Welcome to the tutorial, video tutorial on how to use Cafe Sync. Uh, as you can see, we have the Windows for the tablet version on the right and the phone version on the left. Uh, we will go through both of them basically simultaneously. I have a touch screen, so you may not always see the cursor move around. If I need to use the cursor to point at something, I will. But otherwise, uh, you'll just see the screen change. Assume that that's where my finger is. Uh, it will make logical sense when you see it work. Okay, so on the phone, we'll start there. Uh, you will see, again, this interface on the left where your cards are set up. Uh, horizontally, you can scroll up and down uh, the list, as you see, uh, going through each of the cards. This is in passerby mode. Uh, we'll go through that first. So, passerby is anyone that you have tagged when you have gone into a location, connected to their Wi Fi, opened up the application. Uh, Cafe Sync does not have a background uh, uh, service currently. Uh, we think that the background service is one, they drain your battery, and two, for the most part, we want you to at least feel somewhat connected to the, de the device and the service uh, is more of a design thing than a uh, limitation of the software. Uh, if you know what you're doing, uh, then you are less likely to do something you don't want to do. Uh, this is really beneficial for those who want to go into locations but don't necessarily want to leave their card. Uh, or would rather their card be left at another location earlier in their day. Uh, say you went to some really happening uh, coffee shop or uh, you're like at a conference uh, would be a good example. You're at a conference and you have left your card on the conference's Wi-Fi and then you go out to eat lunch. Well, you're not necessarily going to want to lose the people that you could be gathering at the conference by connecting to the Wi-Fi uh, and it automatically switching you over to this little coffee shop that maybe have 10, 12 people in it. Uh, then again, you'll probably be going back to the conference, so you might want that. But it's really, uh, once you have left a place and connected to another Wi-Fi, your card disappears from that location and reappears, or uh, of course we're using these figuratively, uh, in the next location. Okay, so uh, enough about that. So, passerby. Next, we have Region. If you hit the little button over there on the top, you go to Region. Region works similar to Passersby, but it's everybody in the same uh, general location that you are at. So uh, think of it as relatively maybe 10 miles uh, worth of radius, uh, maybe a little bit more, a little, maybe a little bit less. It just depends on where you are um, connected to where it will decide is your region. Uh, and then on to global, and global may or may not uh, stick around. Uh, global is great for right now when there's very few users. Uh, it shows every user for all around the world, uh, all around your country, all around. I mean, there we have people in Spain, we have people in Australia, we have people in just all over uh, Italy, I believe. Uh, and uh, these people can all connect, and they can actually find each other through the global section. Now this will most likely change to maybe regional or we will set it so it breaks it down to country so you can have like USA or um, your country of choice, Australia, Italy, Spain, those places that I talked about before. Okay, so anyway, you can switch to those. It's kind of a nice way to kind of see, especially if uh, while we're still in the beta testing stage and in the early stages where there's just not that many users or you live out in the middle of nowhere, uh, Global is a great way to find people uh, that are also using the software, then you might be able to um, connect with them or start following them or at least save their card. Um, it's just a, a, another way of discovery. All right. So back to passersby because that's the most important part uh, in my personal opinion. Okay, as you can see, there are several cards uh, already in here. Uh, these are mostly test cards of mine, uh, which makes sense because they are connected to the Wi-Fi that I'm connected to. Um, if you click on, let's say, uh, let's just do a general one. Let's do the Vague Entertainment one. Um, so of course, that's my card for my company uh, on the desk uh, on the. Uh, phone version you see this little uh, arrow I'm just gonna call it a tab come up from the bottom uh, just clicking on it will bring up or tapping it with your finger of course will bring up basically the same thing you see on the right of the tablet version which uh, uh, logically you can call them if you hit the call button text them if you hit the text button and email them if you hit the email button 
these are real people. Uh, they may not be directly companies, uh, so use your better judgment when you decide to email or text them. I do have my phone number showing up in the interface and my email address if you guys want to get in contact with me. I may or may not uh, take your call, but I'll definitely answer your emails. Uh, and we'll go on to talk about the security stuff later on. You also see that there's a number. Uh, if you look out here on the uh, desktop tablet version, you actually have a number down here. That's the card number uh, in the database. So that number, of course, we hope will get into the hundreds of thousands. Um, but it's a good way of knowing where, where you are. Okay, so uh, also, since this one's already in the... Uh, since the phone version is already in this screen, I'll just show you on this one. Those are the same. Uh, you have plus, which will add it to your saved file, uh, saved cards. You have a refresh button, which forces a refresh from the server, so that way you get the newest information about the card. If my phone number changes or some of the sites that I have connected to the account change, uh, then that does that, and of course that deletes it. Um, in the passersby, there is a 72-hour deletion. Uh, clock. After 72 hours, if you have not saved the card, it disappears. Um, if um, it dis yeah, just dis disappears on you. If it's in saved, of course, it doesn't disappear. Global and, and region also have that 72-hour uh, clock uh, ticking on all the cards. Um, if a person walks by you again between that time and its 72 hour delay, then the card comes back so it never actually deletes. If you delete a card and then you walk by that person again, the card comes back because these are actually considered temporary. Um, if you have that card saved, then it does not come back because it is in the saved area and why I have two cards. It does, however, force a refresh on the saved card so that way you always have the newest information. Uh, which is actually one of the biggest benefits of using Cafe Sync over just getting a standard business card or a standard poster or flyer is that it is as live as you want it to be. Um, so uh, uh, websites, information, text, all that kind of stuff is all is all relatively live. Okay. Um, Going forward, all right, so if you slide the screen over to the right on either the phone or the, um, excuse me, phone or the desktop version, it will pull up, excuse me, I'm sorry, there's a, there's a bug in the Ubuntu uh, touch code that does that and it's really kind of frustrating. Okay, so there you go. All right, so uh, if you slide over to the right, you can see various um, web services that are connected to the card. I'm going to use I'm just going to go through the the phone version first because um, if I lose so focus it does that weird thing. So anyway, so here you go. So there's uh, this is uh, an RSS feed reader. Uh, basically if your site has an RSS um, feed, uh, which is kind of like a news aggregator for those people that that use things like uh, News 360 or whatever. This is what uh, News 360 uses in order to pull the little headline and some of the text from the location. Uh, it does basically the same thing. Uh, it shows the latest the latest news from my website. Uh, Facebook unfortunately broke uh, something. They changed something on their security settings, and now the Facebook uh, plugin doesn't work. Uh, I'm sorry about that. I'm working on it. What it can do, uh, but what it will do is it'll show the last uh, comment you made. If you well, if your personal, if it's just a person, it will show you some little information about the person, their name where they're from, where they work, that kind of stuff. Uh, if it's a business or like a, a local band or something like that, it shows a little bit more information, lets you connect to like their uh, events or uh, see their photos, uh, find out more about them. Uh, okay, so uh, this is the Twitter one. Uh, of course, shows the, recent, the most recent tweet. Uh, you can hit one of the low, bottom buttons here. Uh, like, let's do uh, tweets and replies. Uh, there's some photo. There, excuse me. There are some um, rendering issues that I have on here that you don't actually get on the phone. Uh, mainly to, uh, due to it senses that it's on a desktop, so it wants to do desktop uh, uh, stretch it for the desktop. But anyway, as you can see, you can go through and, and find out about the person by hitting the little buttons. All right. And the Ubuntu Touch version, uh, it, it opens up in its internal web viewer. I find it to be just as capable as the external one. Uh, in uh, iOS and Android, it actually opens up in a browser window. 
Uh, it's important to know that because you can jump back and forth between the program a little bit easier, but because it doesn't uh, integrate directly with Cafe Sync, there are some things you can't do, and we'll show you the what I mean later on. Okay. Here's the LinkedIn uh, plugin. Again, it shows uh, these are actually my uh, posts that I have published. Uh, you can scroll through them, or and clicking on them will actually take you to the actual post. Uh, here down at the, the bottom, and you have the LinkedIn icon, my name, the number of connections that I have. If you click on anywhere on that top bottom bar, hopefully on the name would be the most logical place. Uh, it actually pulls up the information about the person. So uh, what my current job titles are, my education, so on and so forth. You can see it. Basically everything that you need to know about that person in a glance. Uh, and that's one of the major um, benefits of Cafe Sync. One of the major goals of Cafe Sync is to have everything at a glance. Uh, so that way you can advertise everything you want to advertise based on the uh, sites that you have set up um, and leave out all the rest. Uh, and it also makes it look a, a little bit more posterized, a little bit more snazzy as best as we possibly can. And then this is uh, DeviantArt. Um, I don't really have much of a DeviantArt page, but I do have some artwork that I threw on there just for the sake of uh, this video and other such things. Uh, DeviantArt's great. Uh, if you don't know about it, it's a, a site for artists uh, that allow you to buy prints from, from them and the artists get a kickback. Um, anyway, yeah, so there's DeviantArt. Again, you can click on it uh, and it pulls up the, the, the image that you see on the screen. All right, so, uh, and that's just a, those, those are several of the plugins. Oh, oh so, so, sorry about that, guys. Um, sometimes such screens cannot be it can be a bad thing. Um, there we go. That one too. Okay. All right. So yeah. So there we go. There, there's what it basically does. Um, you can go through, and that's basically what all all of them do. Uh, I can show you all the plugins. Here's Etsy. Um, oops, so I made a little Etsy user. You can scroll over, and there's your Etsy shop. That's uh, my friend uh, Suzanne Bunch. She lives. Uh, she makes some pretty nice little things. Uh, sometimes uh, all the time I'm sorry uh, anyway so we have various plugins the plugins uh, reformat the card to make them they kind of posterize them to make them so they're a little bit more accessible um, to to everybody to kind of look at them or whatever uh, there aren't any saved cards right now but if you went to save cards you could see the saved cards um, alright so we'll flip over to this one now uh, the desktop app if you scroll over again it's it's pretty much the same thing as before uh, some some sites get um, a little bit more better treatment. Uh, none of these seem to have a desktop mode. Um, the YouTube one does, but apparently I don't have YouTube on here. Um, so in, uh, for the sake of it being a different resolution on the screen, we're going to change the way that some of the applications work, like uh, uh, or the club plugins work. So like this one here, the LinkedIn one, will give you a, a little bit more information on the screen. Uh, Etsy might actually be a better yeah there we go there's your Etsy page so uh, as you see it reorganizes it in order to to fit the screen a little bit better okay so that's that um, on to search so yeah everything on this program can be searched we're gonna go to global because that gives us the best um, best demo uh, if you click the little search button over there in the corner of course it's the usual the usual button that represents search and you type in something like, um, well, let's do Hidden in the Cox. Hidden in the Cox. Okay, there you go. So there's Hidden in the Cox card. There's the information. Oh, okay. So something I was mentioned, meant to mention earlier. If you set the, uh, and I, I can actually show you that real quick. Give me just a second, guys. Uh, we'll do it over here on this one. Uh, if you hit the menu on, uh, which is the button over here in the right hand corner, or excuse me, left hand corner. Uh, you'll get cards, which is the cards you show, and then you have your your two cards. Everybody gets two cards that they'll set up, and we'll show you the setup here in a second. Here's the setup button. Uh, if you go to, say, Ben Flanagan here, uh, you can see that I have, uh, it looks very similar to the other screen, but you don't have, um, uh, you know, you don't call yourself, you don't email yourself or text yourself, uh, but it does give you actions, like you can turn off sharing, which is this button here, you can turn on using... 
uh, your alias if you have it set up, and I'll show you that in a bit. And then this last one here is contact information. That'd be your email address and phone number. If you have this uh, crossed out, uh, your email address and phone number become asterisks. Uh, the phone number is not sent to the person's other device, nor is the email, so they can't just you know hack around and get the email address and phone number, and so that way you're always um, anonymous. Same thing with your alias. Uh, if you have it set to send your alias, it sends your alias. If you have it set to send your name, it sends your name, uh, not the other thing. Um, but it is based on the card number, the one I showed you earlier, this one right here. Uh, if you change that, um, if you change your settings, you turn off sharing, turn on sharing, whatever, everybody that had your card before will get your number the next time it refreshes. Uh, so just a word of warning for those people out there that are trying to keep themselves uh, anonymous. All right. Um, oh, and you can also check to see... Uh, here, I'll pull up that again. I actually don't know if I have any sites connected to him. No, I don't. You can actually pull, over, pull this over to the right just like you could um, any of the other cards uh, so you can preview what your card is going to look like to other people. All right. And, of course, then it goofs up. All right. So we'll go back over here. Um, there, oh, no, there, there it goes. It fixed itself. Good for it. All right. So, um, along with the search, if you click on the menu button over here in the left hand corner and you have it in search, it actually changes uh, the search to the categories as opposed to um, uh, the standard menu items because the search is open. It's, con it's a contextual menu. Uh, the context now is, of course, searching. So if you go to, uh, let's do government. Where's government? Government. Uh, well, I'm sorry, I'm about to use my t thing there. Uh, there's government, and so there you go. Shows up the two government entities that have cards on the system right now. You go to art. There are two art uh, artsy people, uh, and then here's Megan. We'll stay get off of her page. But so as you can see, yeah, this all moves around. Uh, that's what I mean by the rendering being really nice on Ubuntu. Um, this actually renders her sites uh, the way that you'd expect them to. And um, though you cannot interact with them directly, you can click on it and then it'll go into the um, view that you can actually uh, interact with. All right, so that's art. Uh, we'll go back to all cards and there's all the cards again. And again, you can also do, uh, it searches by uh, title, by description. Uh, actually, the description is not the entire description. It's just anything that has hashtags. Um, uh, so hashtags in the description or the about area, um, the uh, title, uh, and then user, of course, and company. All right. So, and then uh, you set the category in the setup. Okay. So setup is the next most, most important thing. When you actually first start using the program, and I'm sorry, I should have done that first, uh, you, after you put in the open seed information, it will. I wonder why that's doing that. Uh, it will uh, take you uh, just to where you can see the cards. It's designed this way so that way people can kind of get a feel for what the program does before they actually commit to making a card. Uh, unfortunately, as uh, as just because it makes sense, you can't share your card if you don't have a card, and you can't pick up other people's cards if you're not willing to be a participant in the network. So even though you have a OpenSea account, you do not necessarily have a card, and you cannot connect to other people and let, tell you have a card. Uh, but by default, uh, and we'll just go ahead and get the setup here. By default, uh, everyone's cards are set up to uh, not use alias, uh, not send, and no, no contact. So. Uh, basically, you are you are as invisible as you e you ever want to be. Uh, in that, uh, you just don't you don't you don't see it. Okay. So anyway, um, as you see, uh, you fill out the usual stuff. It's pretty self-explanatory. Category again, you click on it. It brings up the menu. You found you find the one you want. Uh, I don't even remember which one I put it on. Uh, I think I did personal. Uh, there is a personal uh, card thing on here and then you can say personal and that would just be you know you you yourself you're not a business you're not a per you know you just here's my phone number here's what I do uh, it might be a great way especially for like LinkedIn or uh, you know kind of share business information about yourself so that way people looking for somebody who does graphic design or construction or plumbing or whatever can find you even if you don't have an actual company all right 
So, uh, it, like I said before, you, everybody gets two cards. If I didn't say that before, I'm saying it now. Uh, you get two cards. You can set up... Uh, oh, that's interesting. Okay, so uh, there's a little bit of a bug that I have to fix. Uh, anyway, so card one... Card two, you can pick you can pick whichever one you want to, to play with, and that's the one you can set up. Um, you have uh, various. I'm sorry, guys. I'm using I'm using my little scroll instead of just using touch. I should just use touch. Uh, anyway, uh, websites, uh, the usual the usual song and dance down here at the bottom. If you go to about, it gives you a little slideshow on how to kind of go through uh, using the program. Uh, Credits. Well, someday when you guys, when I get this all done, you guys will be in a thank you part of the credits. Uh, basically, I'm the one programming it. Vague Entertainment is the company that's making it, but I'm the only, I'm the sole person in it at the present moment. So um, everybody else is in kind of hibernate mode. Uh, but so anyway, we'll we'll give credit to all you testers out there. Uh, the first. Couple hundred of you. If you if you want to be a tester, you can find us on uh, Facebook, Twitter, uh, YouTube. Because you're watching this on probably YouTube, uh, you can find us on other places too. And 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 ask to become a part of the test. Okay. So anyway, uh, a couple things. Uh, always click the save button before you're done because it doesn't automatically save for you. I know it's it's standard nowadays that everything saves automatically for you. Uh. Oh, be the baby, hit the button. All right, uh, this little button here um, is your pull from server button. Now, this is great when you get a new device or you get uh, multiple devices. Uh, one of the main main aspects of Cafe Sync is that uh, it doesn't just sync between you and other people, but it actually syncs between anybody that uses the same OpenSeed account information. So. Um, if you set up uh, another phone or tablet or PC with the with with the same and you want to carry the same cards around, you can hit that little button after you put in your username and password, and it will pull down the information from from the server. Uh, it's supposed to do that automatically. I've seen it do it automatically probably about five or six times, so I'm pretty sure my code works. But sometimes there's a lag between you and the server, and then that causes an issue. All right, so that basically forces it to pull down the newest information. It also uh, will if you change something on one of your other machines, um, say if you change it on the uh, desktop version but you haven't changed it on the card, hitting that button will make sure that everybody's in sync. Uh, again, it does it automatically, should do it automatically, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, that will make sure that it happens. All right, if you click on the or tap on the, um, what do you call this, card, this is your card back. By default, everybody's card back looks like this. You're never going to be noticed if it looks like that. Clicking on it brings up the card uh, creator. Now, of course, it's kind of silly in this view, so we're going to go back and use the uh, desktop mode. Oh, so the desktop version, uh, the desktop slash to uh, tablet version, the setup is a little bit wonky. Uh, it works. I'm still working on getting, hold on, uh, getting it all fixed the way we want it to be. Um, to um, to do more with it. All right. So uh, here along the right hand side, you have background symbol and text. We'll uh, you'll figure out how this will works. Uh, left and right. If you hit the left button, it will go up the number of backgrounds. We actually only have two. We have basically nothing, and then the lines. Uh, so that would be the background image. You know, you have the bars or without uh, symbol is just a bunch of little clip art esque symbols. I made them kind of bad on purpose. Uh, one, I'm not an artist, but two, uh, I want you guys to um, think about what your card should look like given your business or your um, or what have you. I will use the bartending one. Uh, and then, because I actually kind of like that one. Uh, and then text is whatever your name um, is. So like, there you go, there's my card. All right. Uh, well, actually, hold on. That looks kind of goofy. Uh, anyway, basically, text just kind of goes through different various locations that you can put your information. Okay, so if you have uh, just a name but no company, it'll make your name the largest thing on the screen. If you have a company, your name becomes smaller, and the company, of course, becomes bigger because uh, that just seems to be uh, the right way to do it. Um, and vice versa. I mean, if you don't have a name and you just have a company name, 
<laughs> It'll just show the comment tag. Excuse me. Please put in your name. It makes things easier if you have your name in there. Uh, so, I would like to direct your attention now. Now that you kind of see how that works, and you can kind of see how bad the symbols are. And, of course, you can go back and say, well, I really don't like that symbol. I'm going to change it to one of these other ones. All right. Um, and so that's basically how you go. Just kind of go through it until you find what you want. All right. So, down here you have use your own. This is the only way that um, Cafe Sync plans to, or at least at this stage of the program, to monetize the program. Um, anyone who is just a walk, you know, just a normal everyday Joe with a business or a passion or uh, they, they have passion for their business and they want to pass around their card, uh, you can use uh, this to upload a background that is basically like your company's logo. Uh, you, I saw it at the Hen and the Cox, uh, Bridgeport Economic, Economic Development Corporation, and Decatur Public Library. They all had very bright and uh, colorful cards and they stood out because the rest of the cards were just black and white. Uh, again, this is the reason why we're doing it this way. Um, you can use Bitcoin or PayPal. Uh, basically it goes through uh, and uh, once you collect all the information, it, you'll send an email to me. It's not all integrated like I want it to be, uh, but at this uh, point, um, integration is uh, a little bit harder because right now I'm trying to get it to work the same way on all three platforms. And once it works all the same way on all three platforms, then I'll worry about getting it to work with, say, like Apple Pay or Google Wallet or uh, Ubuntu, whatever they call theirs. Um, but anyway, so yeah, it, it does what you expect it to do. You go to PayPal, it opens up a PayPal window. Uh, we'll, we, we'll save you guys the trouble of watching all that garbage. But anyway, so you hit cancel, it goes away. Uh, you hit set in order to set it. Uh, you hit, uh, oh, there's a bug there. Uh, you hit uh, save, as you can see now that it's kind of a pinkish color. If you hit save, then now it is saved to the server. And you can go back to cards and go about your day. Uh, so that is basically all you have to do on Cafe Sync. That's about all you can do on Cafe Sync. Uh, as you can see, it's it's a pretty simple, straightforward um, interface. Uh, nothing too surprising, nothing too spectacular. Uh, oh, I did want to show one more thing. Um, and this is like just a preview, I guess you could say, of what I'm getting getting to on the desktop version. If you go to, say, Hen in the Cox here, uh, this is the... Um, SoundCloud plugin. Uh, this will be much more interactive, uh, probably in a couple versions ahead. I wanted to see how many actual uh, musicians actually start using the program before I go to the trouble of making sure that you can actually play the music um, in the actual video, or actually in the app uh, application. But if you tap on it, it actually pulls up SoundCloud proper in the application. It didn't open up any other uh, uh, it didn't open up your browser or anything like that. It's all it's all internal, uh, and then you can say um, you know play the music. And actually, I don't think I have uh, the oh, well maybe you probably pick up some of that. So anyway, that's it in the cox, uh, and then you have this little uh, little down tab button here, you click on that, and of course it goes back to the way it was. Uh, again, you know, the Hawks does a much better job of showing off how this all works uh, because they're uh, a rock band and they can, I don't know, they have a better uh, aesthetic, um, whatever the word I'm looking for is. Uh, anyway, so there's, and they're ready for it, Economic Development Corporation. So you can kind of see, especially in the tablet version or the, the desktop version, how this could actually even replace, in some ways, uh, your general use web browser because you're kind of seeing uh, the websites on here so it's like well I don't have to go and deal with uh, you know searching for the thing after picking up their card here's the card here's their website you can look at it if you're interested in dealing with uh, or talking to these people or getting in contact with them you have the information uh, here uh, to, to do that um, uh, he, he's not very active on uh, those kinds of things. Uh, he doesn't have a card. Uh, that's the iPhone version, doesn't have a card. I'm sorry, I'm just kind of going through It's just kind of giving you guys a, more, a little bit more video here. Um, 
Anyway, yeah, so there's the iPhone test. I just take it to Apple. But so you can see, for the most part, uh, every website works the way it's supposed to. It's just, it just kind of makes it to a new, innovative, or interesting way to uh, connect with people in the world around you. All right, so that is Cafe Sync. I hope I didn't talk too fast. I hope it wasn't too confusing. I hope it wasn't too long. Uh, again, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, uh, Vague Entertainment, both those places. Uh, Google Plus, Vague Entertainment, of course, there too. Uh, we have a Patreon page if you want to just show your support for uh, on a monthly basis, which would be just fantabulous. Uh, doing your own card is, again, the only way that we actually make any money off of this, but we are still in beta testing, so um, know that I will be sure that you always retain your card. Uh, actually, I'll go as far as to say until we're out of beta, which you will know because uh, yeah, Android and Ubuntu Touch will be revving up to like one, say it's like 1.5, will probably where we say beta, beta is over. Uh, the Mac version will be 1.5 as well. Once we're there, uh, no more free ride. Everybody has to pay, but if you would like a back once you've created your card, just email me, uh, text me, what, or uh, if you have my phone number, uh, which you do because you have the program, uh, and tell me what the email address is connected to the card and maybe a little bit more information, and I'll make sure you get a, a custom card back. Uh, you can send it to me uh, at bflanagan at uh, vagueentertainment.com. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, you can watch it over and over again until you get all the, the little nitpicky stuff out of the way. Uh, and uh, thank you for being the start of something big, I hope. Uh, till then.